when you lose your independence, it can be really scary. Or even you feel ashamed, or you feel weak, or you feel like less of a person, or you feel like a burden. You know, whenever people have to start taking care of you. But I actually enjoyed being taken care of a lot of the time because instead of looking at it like, oh my gosh, like I suck or I'm weak or, you know, I'm, I'm less of a person, I just saw it as like an intimate human interaction, like a, a very loving experience. You know, when these people, whether it was a nurse or a friend or a family member or a stranger opening the door for me, I always saw it as like these people are sharing their love with me, they're caring with me, like I'm, this is an exchange of giving and receiving love. And I just thought, wow, like I'm really cared for. And so when people were brushing my teeth or feeding me, I was just like, this is a, you know, I'm vulnerable right now. And this is like a very, you know, sweet interaction between two human beings and very nurturing and very loving. And the thing is, you have to be a good receiver because Everybody feels best whenever they're helping other people or when they're growing or they feel like they're contributing to society. So when you say, no, 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 I'm fine. Or when you, when you don't appreciate when someone's helping you, you're robbing them of their joy because it makes them feel good to help you. So when you either say, don't worry about it or, oh, like you act like it sucks, you know, like you're taking away some of their joy. So let them take care of you. Let them help you and it'll make them feel good, but it can also make you feel good because what it is at the end of the day is somebody showing you love and caring about you. So let yourself be loved. Bye-bye.